guys, today we're going to talk about the top 5 band shirts that are abused by posers. Before we get on to this, I know a lot of you guys are going to argue about a band t-shirt being a graphic t-shirt, so why am I even talking about this? Well, I get it's a graphic, technically it is a graphic t-shirt, but we gotta remember that it associates with something bigger than it's graphic, you know, it's a band t-shirt. For example, this t-shirt shows the band on it, like, it's a band. Like, come on. And then I know most of you are going to be like, but I bought this sh band t-shirt at a place that said it was a graphic t-shirt. Well, I mean, like, it's the store's fault, okay? Like, freaking everyone and their mom shops at Hot Topic and they can separate their band and graphic t-shirts all the time. So, like, you know, get it right. Alright, so the first one on this list is going to be the Rolling Stones. Mostly the Mick Jagger lips type of shirt. I see that shirt almost like on anybody, and to be honest, the people that I see it on, I really think they don't listen to Rolling Stones. I'm so sorry. I'm like that judgmental. I am I know, I'm horrible, but I mean, come on. Like, like if you ask these people what Rolling Stones songs do they know, I don't think they'll even know one. Maybe they'll know Paint It Black, but maybe that's just it. And I remember this one time in high school when I was talking to this one guy about the Rolling Stones shirt he was wearing. I told him, you know, I was like, hey, cool, I like your shirt. And then, you know, um, he was just like, yeah, you know, whatever, like, you know, you just took it, and I was like, okay, great, um, what's your favorite song? He's just like, wait, this is a band? I was like, yes, it's a band. Like, dude, the response he gave me was that he thought that the shirt was a sexual act. Yeah. I just thought, why do you even have it? I blame stores like Rue 21 and H&M having the Rolling Stone shirt all the time. Every time I go in there, I see them in their graphic tee section or whatever, because those stores do have like a graphic section. And I mean, I do buy their shirts from there because to be honest, they have like kind of rarish type of shirts, but I'll get more onto that later. And then another thing about the Rolling Stones is that some people do confuse the band with the magazine, which I get because like I thought the same thing too, you know, like, all right. And now number three on the list is the Ramon shirt. With the same thing as the Rolling Stones shirt, with people confusing it with the magazine, like, people confused, I've met people that confuse the Ramon shirt with an American Eagle type of brand, you know? Which I can kinda see that, cause there's an eagle in the front, and like, you know, in the circle of it, but just know that the names freaking Joey Ramon, just know that the names on the shirt are names of band members. I also blame H&M for this one because they always have a bunch of Ramon shirts in there. Like, I bought one of them and I really like it. It was a sleeveless one. And yeah, honestly though, I've noticed they sold a bunch of Ramon shirts with the exact circle logo and everything. Number three on this list, here's where we get to the deeper ones, to the big ones, Metallica, but specifically Ride the Lightning. Honestly, I've met somebody at work who wore this hey man can you refill me sure man i like your shirt by the way thanks so what's your favorite song in that album wait this is a band yeah it's a band how do you not know that oh yeah sorry i don't surf posers the fuck you're the reason why i drink this generation is just kind of sad for me i'm sorry to say that if you bought the band shirt how do you not know it or how do you not like look it up at least you know like i get you like the design but like at least look up what it's about like number two on the list is a big one because it's one of my favorite bands and that's guns and roses like i've seen everyone and their mom wear a guns and roses shirt i mostly blame the guns and roses shirt that looks like the Jack Daniels logo, kind of. And like, the ones of like, mostly Appetite for Destruction. And how do you like, wear an Appetite for Destruction shirt and not know it's a band or like, the album of Appetite for Destruction? Like, I remember my own sister wearing a freaking Guns N' Roses shirt. She doesn't even know anything about him. And I'm just like, why? Just, just why? You don't even know Rocket Queen. You might know Welcome to the Jungle, but you don't even know My Michelle, like, Whenever I bought my freaking Guns N' Roses shirt at like those those trendy stores like H&M, here's an example. Whenever I bought this shirt from H&M, like, yeah, it shows you User Illusions, the album right here. Like, okay, yeah, like, I can see how people think this is like a brand shirt, but if you look in the back, 
It's a, you see these tour dates. Now, what goes on tour other than one hit wonder YouTubers? Freaking bands go on tour. Like, how do you not, how can you not question this? Like, come on. Their songs aren't even that bad. They're pretty good. You should listen to them. If you have a freaking Guns N' Roses shirt, you don't even know what it is. Last and not least, the biggest one of all, the biggest other Oh! Nirvana. Yes, the specifically the smiley face Nirvana shirt. Like, that one is a big one. I get why it's a big one. It's just like a simple design that was... Originally in a poster, I think, Kurt was trying to parody the happy smiley face from like the 70s and so he put it on this, I think it was like on a tour poster or something. Like, I can see why people think it's just a brand and a graphic, but at the same time, Nirvana has a bunch of other shirts that show the band, you know? And there's this one video that I saw of this like girl who didn't know Nirvana. I, th I know everybody's seen this video. The ironic thing was she was wearing the Nirvana shirt with like the band on it with you know Chris, Dave, and Kurt on it. Like what do they just slap in Nirvana and put on like a random people on it? Like dude it's just it's a band. I know this video seems a little cold hearted but in all honesty whenever these younger this younger generation buys these band shirts they'll at least you know some of them will at least look it up some of them won't. But the ones that actually do look it up will actually get into something new, which is great in all honesty. And most of the time, yeah, you know, these are like kind of gateway bands, you know? Like, these are the bands that will get you into something more deeper, and you might even look into an underground thing. So in all honesty, I kind of sort of support it, but at the same time, it does slightly piss me off. <laughs> honestly, who does it not piss off, you know? Like, if I wore a freaking Taylor Swift shirt, and I said, I don't even know what a Taylor Swift is, you know, people will look at me like, are you a freaking idiot? And... Yeah, like, you know, that's just the same with metal and rock fans, you know, they'll do the same thing to everybody, and in all honesty, that's just the world we live in. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today, um, please like and subscribe, make sure to ring the notification bell, I hope this doesn't demonetize me, even though I don't get monetized, why am I even saying that? And I hope all of you have a fantastic day.